Hi guys and welcome to this Excel Quickie. Here I'm going to show you how to quickly and easily evaluate complex formulas in cell. We're going to be using this week's tutorial because it has a great little array formula here that is a perfect example. Now oftentimes if you want to evaluate a formula, you select it, go to the formulas tab and click the evaluate formula button. And it's great, you can step through every step of the formula, see how it's calculated, go into other cells, see how they're calculated, but you don't really need that in a lot of circumstances. So you can simply go to your formula, zoom in just a little bit here, and what you can do is to select individual pieces that you would like to see. So you'd like to see what is E2 to E13. Maybe it's not a cell reference on this worksheet, so you can't just see it right here. And you select it, and you hit F9, and it's going to go ahead and show you all those values. So we can see all the numbers right here, 24, 32, 23, and that, those are the numbers that appear here. It's just my zoom level doesn't show them very well. And you can see there's a little squiggly bracket around them, which means it is an array of values. That's why it's presented this way. And when you want to back out of that, so you can think of this as sort of the step in feature for the evaluate formula. To back out of it, you just hit control Z. Or if you want, when you're done looking at the cell, just hit escape and it just makes sure that it doesn't save any of your changes. So let's go over here, test it again. I want to see what is H6. Remember, it could be on another worksheet. Maybe you don't just see it right here. So we hit F9. It is ASC-A. And we know that it's text because it has the quotation marks around it now. Let's see, what is this dude right here? OK, now I can see all of the values in the list. I'll take Control-Z, Control-Z, OK. So you'll notice that when I do that, I can only undo one step. So if I hit Control Z a million times, it's still not going to undo the ASC-A right here. Now let's see what happens when I hit Enter or Control Shift Enter, because this is an array formula. It does hard code my value in. Look at that. That is not what we want. So even when I go back here, I do all this, it's still hard coded in. So you do want to make sure that you hit escape if you go ahead and hit F9 to view multiple sections like that and you can't undo all of them. So this was this cell reference and we put dollar signs, there we go. So now we are back to normal. But you don't just have to do individual sections like that. So here, this was all of the values in the list. This was one value. But putting the equal sign between them, it allows us to return if it's true or false. So when we select both of them and hit F9, you can see the result of the evaluation of that check. True, false, false, true, false, false, true, and so on. Because what it's done is it's taken this value in H6, ASC-A, and it's checked to see in which rows it equals ASC-A within this list. So when we evaluate it, that's why we get the trues and the falses. And let's back up, go one step further. Let's say this and the row, F9. Notice it doesn't work here. So you need to give it enough information that it can actually do something. And what we've done here is just given it a partial if statement. But if we go out just a little bit more, to select the entire if statement, then F9, you can see the result of that. So everywhere that it has evaluated to true, the next part of the if statement has returned the row for that value, or it has returned an empty string. So this right here is what we get. And now we can see that the small function sees this as its first argument. And of course, don't forget to hit Control Z or just escape to get out of the cell so you don't save any of those changes. And all we did this whole time is hit F9. It is such an amazingly awesome keyboard shortcut that so few people use. I hope you have learned a valuable tip today that F9 allows you to evaluate the formula, the function, the data in cell. Even the full formula like that. 